This is an irreverent podcast. Check out irreverent.fm for shows from all our friends. Hello and welcome to Exvangelical. I'm your host, Blake Chastain. I know there's a lot going on. I know that the recent Supreme Court rulings are extremely troubling and discouraging, that they're going to be very harmful for so many people, and that a decision that could lead to the downfall of Roe is expected as soon as tomorrow. But multiple things happen all at once, and because of our interconnectedness, we see and feel them all at the same time. However, I want to isolate one event that's happening right now and say this. Happy Pride, especially to those born and raised in conservative evangelicalism. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being you. No matter how you identify today, lesbian, gay, bi, trans, queer, questioning, intersex, ace, or any other label you adopt for yourself today, thank you for being here, for still being here, for thriving here. You should not have had to survive the hostility and prejudice so common to religious communities, but you did. The harmful and confusing theology that claims that God is love, but conflates your love with harm because it doesn't adhere to a heteronormative framework, that theology has no claim or authority to judge you. And whether your own experience led your beliefs about God and religion to adopt a new spiritual expression that models the love, we were told about, but were not shown or given, or whether you have no need or desire to explore those paths for yourself. You are loved, and you deserve love. There are so many faith communities that have been torn apart by the very act of extending love to you. Methodists, Lutherans, Episcopalians, smaller denominations like the Christian Reformed Church recently. All of these have schismed or threatened to schism over the affirmation of your full humanity. Still others deny your humanity entirely, and so many individual families have been schismed over this as well. And for that, I'm sorry. But you do not have to look back. As I shared recently on my newsletter, if you're ex or post-evangelical, You don't need to feel obligated to spend your time looking back to the community you left. You can just look forward. And you don't need my permission or anyone else's to do so. I personally look back for any number of reasons, as a way to signal to others still within that system that they aren't alone, as a way to unlearn so many things relative to my whiteness and my other forms of privilege, as well as a way to criticize the powerful evangelicals who oppress others here in America. And that's not healthy for everyone. It's even been unhealthy for me sometimes. So do what you need, especially now, especially always. Wholeness is greater than holiness. At least the holiness that we were taught in white evangelicalism, this unachievable purity of body and mind. Always, always, always choose your own health and safety. The things that we were taught conditioned us to second-guess our own coping mechanisms. So please, trust yourself. None of this is to say you can't or shouldn't look back, but more just to remove any sense of obligation you have. Whatever keeps you from becoming stagnant, We were told we were given streams of living water, but we were really given a shallow puddle of muddy water separated from the stream. Streams of living water change. They retain their essence, too. They replenish. So go find your stream. There's this endearing scene in Brooklyn Nine-Nine where Captain Holt, an openly gay black man, tells another character, Rosa Diaz, who had recently come out as bi, quote, every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. So for those who are able to be open about who they are, or those whose visibility 
is or was not dictated by them and are out. Thank you. Your existence is an encouragement to those who have not yet arrived where you are. Your joy and happiness and peace is yours alone to enjoy, and it is also a signal to others. To those who may today find themselves questioning, or those who may find themselves questioning in the future, or those who know who they are but are not yet ready to share it, you're valid too, and you're loved. Happy Pride. Be proud. Thank you for listening. Go enjoy your life. And check out the show notes for a link to all the different LGBTQ plus voices who have been featured on the show throughout the years. Peace. Be well. Talk soon.